semi-finals. It's just been ridiculous. The Primal Rage is insane. The amount of space that uh, both Sado and Smurf are able to create for people like Striker and Arms is just also ridiculous. Um, Sado? Sado slept. Uh, yeah, slept right out of the gate. Okay. Well, Philadelphia's running something weird here. I mean, they've got the Reaper and a Genji. You don't see that together a whole lot. So running the shooty shooty shotguns. More Sado's, of a brawl style. Sado's job here is actually just kind of sit on Arns too, so... It's going to be a little bit more difficult, I feel. As soon as Arns manages to set up, he's can't really deal with them. It's going to be up to Ivy and Sado to do that. A little bit of a, a flank here from the Fusion, stopping the shot running to their spawn and playing the touch the spawn game. Smurf ends up going down first, though. Ivy picking up first blood. However, shot end up capping the point. Arns is still sitting on the high ground, but not in the position he really wants to be. He's actually at the back of the point, but you can see even Ivy's kind of scared to actually uh, peek him. He does have Violet and Twilight sitting around him as well. But Smurf coming back, well, you know, delayed the, the inevitable at this point. Arns does end up falling down, but Ivy falling next is not a good sign for the fusion. They do manage to find the reflip, and in fact, a very early coalescence from Alarm to try and turn the tide to war. Even a nano boost being invested here by the shock as well to try and get back onto this point. Please, Hero oh, he's, so he's just so low. As soon as he hits the primal rage, though, he's going to get slept and grabbed as well. They're investing so much into Sado. He gets naded, but he's going to be able to get out alive. He had 1,000 HP. This fight is still going on. Another Graviton Surge is sent out, and Hisu cleaned up the rest. Striker and Twilight fall, and the Fusion now grasping on control of the point. Still, 30% in building. Shot may have taken that point first. Although, I say that, Astro and Spurve end up finding boobs, and they're just going to go back in with the beat. Even the Blade from Ivy, this fight hasn't stopped yet. Well, the Blade into the beat is great. When you're at low numbers like that, you know going. you need to protect your Genji. The bubble comes in huge again. <laughs> Arns comes back on the Kree, and now, well, we should, if you're Sado, you might as well stall for some additional time. They eventually kill him. Oh my word, that was a good 60% fight almost. Uh, just adding both of them together. Arns, I can imagine, is probably going to just stick on the Kree here to try and counteract Hisu, but wow, what a, what a beginning engagement. I think you're going to see a lot of fights like that. This is an unstoppable force versus an immovable object because both these teams feel they can win when they're down heroes. Uh, uh, Philadelphia has one of the highest win rates when they go down a person, and San Francisco, for some reason, can win 2v6 fights against every team in the league. I'm going to speed boot this to shoot, shoot shotguns into the back line. You've got to be careful for a striker. Yeah, you can't poke as easily here because you can get punched by Yuzu so easily. Coalescence along with the dive onto the back line. Arms and striker are in trouble. Healing is just so great from the coalescence and forcing everybody back. You can see them all piling up in that corridor now. Astro finds a boop as well in the midst of chaos, and Hisu sitting on with the Death Blossom. Arn's in trouble, and Hisu just playing Doorman right now. Graviton Surge onto the point, but no follow up, so Fury's gonna stay alive, but not for long as Striker throws in the Pulse Bomb. It's still fairly even, but Philadelphia Fusion are gonna be able to come out on top as Sado kills off both tanks. Arn's is just gonna go down as well. The shock gained 65% there on that fight, and now the fusion controlling again. They're going to match him in just a moment. Yeah, I mean, Philadelphia's support line is just much more conducive to running initiations than the San Francisco Shock. San Francisco, a much more defensive support line, so you're seeing boosts in. And the big benefit you get from, Coale or from the Moira is being able to get Coalescence so quickly and fire and forget it and initiate with it. It's not a defensive ultimate necessarily for the supports, which a lot of them are. Rally comes in. Yeah, Primal Rage used by Sado. They can use the Coal and the Blade. It might not be too bad at all. Sado gets slept too. Oh no, someone please help him. The Blade's going to come in as well as the Coalescence. Sado is going so low. He got antenated in that small room, so he couldn't even pick up the Mega Health Pack. The Blade didn't really get too much, but Fusion just need to buy time. Alarm and Sado do end up going down. It's now Hisu just to go scurry back to his spawn. They kill off Arns, and Ivy is still fighting in the front line, but... Twilight's got all the protection he needs, and a little bit of firepower as well, as Ivy does end up going down, and Shock reclaim control of the point. Well, Philadelphia does a good job there of just running it up to 96 and not burning alts there towards the end. I think, actually, they, they're better off having Ivy not get that kill onto Twilight, because I think that might have been the re-engagement kind of button there. But now Philadelphia's going to have Graviton, Barrier, and the Death Blossom here. Death Blossom's going to be difficult to get value out of with Shield Bash, with Sleep, and with the Flashbang. See if they can actually get something to work here. Grab in. There's the grab. Oh, Hisu and Fury just melt joy. Oh, the Death Blossom in the front as well. That's two kills for Hisu. They claim the point. Oh, the primal rage from Smurf to try and bash everybody away. The flip comes through from the fusion. Can anybody from the shock touch? It's going to be one person at least to trigger OT, but can they get back? Yes, they can. But Smurf, with no primal rage left, is it going to survive too long against Hisu? The pulse bomb gets thrown in as well, but even Hisu with a very aggressive TP forward. 
Arns with the high noon to spread everybody from the point, but it doesn't matter. Their coalescence is going to help them finish this one off, and downtown belongs to the Fusion. It's a really interesting composition from Philadelphia, and I think it's just really smart. They know that San Francisco wants to run dive, especially on control maps. When you see Smurf in, you know that the Winston's going to be there, and there's really no better counter to a Winston than having a Reaper of your own, the giant hitboxes, the straight brawl-up style, and then it's almost just like an old soul orb. Like, Winston's there, and you're just gaining health by so plunking him away. A great style there, and Smurf... Well, he straight up was not having a good time. Yeah. It always kind of sucks when you're running into the Reaper because you end up going in the bubble. You're like, haha, I'm safe. And then Reaper just two shots the bubble almost and then just kind of walks towards <laughs> yeah. your face. Plus one headshot with the Hellfire shotguns really close up with all the pellets hitting. You, you almost die. So, yeah, it could be rather punishing. Reaper also with the ability to escape too. You should still stick with this comp, although they're running the Wrecking Ball this time around instead. A lot more no disruption either. It's going to be Ivy Ons. versus Ons, but it's just, it's Genji versus Widow instead. But someone has to check Ons. You can't let him free fire. Oh, or uh, Sado's going to do just that. Look at the protection, though, they're throwing onto Ons. They know if they keep him alive and give him the space, he can get the work done. One of the sharpest shooters, not only in the West, but just, uh, you know, watch in general. Anton Sniper, he's got that name for a reason. And he's already burned the rain form here, so he's gonna have to play a little bit more safe, and so does Astro. Arnt was almost mid-air a little like there, and he hit the headshot. That's a good start. Dueling out with the Moira, not something you want to do unless you're behind a shield. Oh, Ivy may have taken out Viola, but it's all over. Like Arns is on fire currently. He's warmed up in the semi-finals. And now he's clicking the heads. They claim control of the point first. And it's not like Philadelphia doesn't know that this is coming and they're sending people after it, but it's essentially Ivy and Sato trying to take down six people in the form of a sniper because San Francisco is giving all the support in the world to Ons. These immortality fields are coming down. The Discord is going on ham as soon as he comes in. Everybody is playing around Ons. They understand that this map can be decided by a Widowmaker and a Widowmaker alone. And despite Philadelphia... Oh, oh my god! Oh my god. Yep, well there it is. Now uh, you reset. There's uh, literally nothing you can do. You don't have enough healing to do anything here. Like, you just don't. Oh, oh no, he's minus one HP. Someone please heal him. There we go. Nice one. Okay, so you go for the reset again, but aren't you going to be able to get sights up here rather shortly, X? Yeah, and now he's going to know when he's getting dived and the rest of his team's just going to be there again, okay. so it's, it's absolutely no worries. No worries. Also, Striker out in front oh. of him is a great move. What? What? Solo was in the back line that entire time. Three people surrounding Violet wasn't enough to actually save him. The power driver with the mine. Sardo now just uh, paying attention to Arns, or at least trying to. Now he hasn't got the protection that he really wants. Twilight unleashes the window, but uh, he ends up going down. San Francisco shock. It's okay to lose the point here, to be fair. You're up to 86% and a little bit more. Shock are more than happy with that. Coming into the next fight, they have Supercharger. They're going for the Flux 2. Arns uh, making a couple of switches, though. It's changing over to the Kree now. Okay, the McCree helps a lot against a Reaper and a Genji. Of course, Flashbang is something you think about a lot, but both of those heroes, I mean, you hit them with a single headshot, and then you're going to bait out Deflect, you're going to bait, uh, bait out Dash away, and also hitting a Reaper with a headshot, you can also bait out Raid Form. So, yes, Flashbang is good against those heroes, but single shots from on will also shut them down. Really early coalescence here, but Sado actually went all the way into the bat line and got insta-killed. Immortality Field's already been used, and Choi just kills two people. Now, they, look at all the ults they have. They can just throw everything here at once. They're going to, you go for the flank, kill off Alarm, as he's already used Phase. A bit of Street Blade coming out from Ivy, ends up going down. Twilight Striker just fill up the kill feed, and Shock find the flip. 93% now for the Shock, and they still have not only a Pulse Bomb, but they have the Flux as well. It seems almost impossible now for them to lose this. Sado dies touch. before he can even get to the point. Violet with the Discord Orb. A halt, a rock, and that was it. Arns just finished him off with a final shot. And they're going to tie up Busan. Hi, we talk about how these are the best teams in North America. And sometimes when you watch them and the switches they make, the adjustments they make mid-map, it does seem like San Francisco and Philadelphia are playing chess when everyone else is playing checkers. And just the, the insta switches, knowing how things are working out for your team and what needs to be fixed, what's the counter, what do you anticipate, like the film study is there. Both these teams seem super prepared, one to one on our first control map. And man, I hope we go to seven today. That's all I ever hope for is some good Overwatch. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't forget, this is a best of seven. 
first to four. We could go to eight, nine. Dude, Verity, if they just continually draw. <laughs> but signs point to no on that one, unfortunately. Yeah, it's not a UK versus South Korea in the World Cup again. So I think, look how much um, they're putting into arms at this point. They're just helping him set up on the high ground just permanently. And they're actually just going to do a little bit of a switch of roof. Now as they do swap sides of the map, as Philadelphia Fusion know that they can't really give Arns the space, but they're not really given a choice in this matter. It's literally just like they move one side and Shock moves the other. They move that side and then Shock then rotates again. You can see it right here. The point does end up getting capped by the Shock. Fusion have a little bit more point presence though with this May from Ivy, but now Arns can set up in the back line and if you don't pay attention to him, he's going to start clicking heads and it's going to be up to Hisu to try and um, chunk him out from afar, but it's, it's just the hardest thing to do with a McCree. Uh, Philadelphia is giving Ans a ton of respect and well deserved because they are just sitting behind pillars. No one Look. is even peeking. Just ring around the rosy heads. They can't get in though. I mean, he's got a Lucio uh, in Astro to try and charge forward. There's the wall also. The yeah, Antarctic Field gets used to try and save Smurf. It ends up going down, but they still manage to navigate themselves to the high ground without uh, losing anybody. One big cooldown down. Oh, a headshot onto Ans. He's who finishes it up. The Coalescence is going to be good as well to end this fight. That's what they really needed, this uh, bunker strategy from the shock, just uh, protecting the President Arns. He's only got to work for so long. As soon as Fusion gets ults online, yeah, speed boost, coalescence, and then Ivy going for the flank. They managed to cap the point as well, but shock with not a bad time at all. 47% already built up. Well, at some point with a the Lucio, they were going to catch up to them. Ivy was able to put down a nice wall, and it forced everybody to stay around to try to keep the tanks alive. And then after that, a nice uh, icicle headshot and a cleanup onto Ans. And with the raid boss down, Philadelphia boosts in and cleans it up. Striker going down early. That's a loss you can afford to uh, take and still try to push in. He's a one back man, momentarily. Just, uh, on the flank alone. Can't hear Striker. That's of course Striker's crouching, but obviously we can see as we do have an X-ray vision. The window open fairly early, however, they're just going to get walled off and uh, both the tanks are in trouble. Break the blizzard, you should be okay. Still using that window to good effect, however, the blizzard is going to come through. Uh, matching with the Transcendence, a big shadow in the front. That Transcendence is going to run out sometime shortly. A huge pin onto Arns. That was just a pure flow chart there, just waiting for that blizzard to come out. And then they trance, and then guess what? We've got a shadow to follow up. Normally it's pretty tough, you know, going against double shields, but Sado makes it work still. He does end up going down himself, but Astro can taxi him back with the Lucio. All right, so double shields, different variations on both sides for San Francisco. They're going to be running in Orissa. Philadelphia is, of course, on the Reinhardt. It allows them to rotate and try to cover the double shield entrances a little bit easier. Philadelphia also with a little bit better shield crack, but not by much. Oh, oh he's, he's too missed. Shot. He's too missed. He's going to die to flames. Oh, he does. He dies to the dynamite. They end up trading, however, in an early flux from Fury to kill off Choi. Philadelphia Fusion still in a good position and 80 percent on the board as well hex the shock are going to be able to come back and answer switch over to the emergency widow he needs one pick in this fight and it could be all theirs double support also for philadelphia they have been oh that's not good resort. what a rock oh well this is uh, going to come out rather soon as well in fact all support ultimates have been thrown in arms manages to snipe alarm coalescence is not available anymore but he soon manages to take him out he's on the flank this whole time the high noon has been used he's got the rocket he soon god on the sidelines takes the 2v1 and the philadelphia fusion yeah. will go one map up in the series he soon takes a bit of a siesta at the end of that one well earned if you took the nameplate off you would think that was carpe that is the depth of the philadelphia fusion team that they've waited all year to be able to flex on the different compositions and you know philadelphia it looked not great early on because they were just playing so close together behind They had a plan going into it, uh, but yeah, that's the last time Philadelphia was able to beat the San Francisco Shock. And we shall see. Ans on offense is going to be on the Sombra first, but maybe this is just to allow the versatility. Well, they're going to know 
that he's using on this Sombra as well. I wonder if Arnton does end up switching. I'm not sure he is. He's kind of doing damage. Less about scouting. High ground control. Name of the game for Watchpoint Gibraltar. You see Smurfs just kind of escorting the payload. I mean... The, the best thing for Hisu here is basically just to get behind the enemy lines and just start poking the other tanks. Hisu, Hisu's going to be able to get priority control of the health packs. Well, oh dear, inside his own bubble. And uh, Choi, oh, whoops a daisy, gets booped off the map as well. There is uh, someone still pushing the payload. It is a striker. Fury cleans up the rest though and uh, stops the payload from moving too. Now Hisu can just set up really well. It's kind of a, a soft counter to Striker 2. Striker 2, yeah, that's a big stack to get, actually. Um, it's, it's a, kind of a soft counter to the Tracer, because if you hack all the health packs, Hex, you can't really yeah. scurry anywhere. You literally have to go back to your healers uh, in order to get healing. So it can be very annoying for Striker to actually get a lot of space and do work in the back line. And it's also going to be somewhat difficult for Twilight to heal the Tracer as well. I mean, Tracer's a small target far away, and you don't really want to be standing still as a Tracer. So it's up to Violet to just try to toss him packs, and that's less packs for everybody else. Yeah, tracer pretty fast. Smart packs. Should be fine. We get around the corner. Slow, grueling push here. Oh, my God, so low. Oh, the Nano Boost onto the blue box. Oh, dear. He does get slept. Oh, and they leave him too. Oh, this is disaster. Sort of it's... Sado just leapt up to the moon and then got slept and hacked. And now the EMP is going to come out, though. Smurf, Choi, Arns, they've all been hacked. Striker sends out the post bomb, but doesn't quite find anybody. That's a beautiful counter EMP there from the fusion. He's too spotted how many members of the shot were kind of in and around his team. Hits the EMP and manages to take out Smurf, or at least to attempt to help him. Graviton Surge into the front line as well. Violet jumps into the bubble to try and heal everybody up, but it's not going to work. The fusion continuing to hold this payload. And they invested everything that they had going into that one. Ans dies, but he is going to be the absolute key to their next fight. He's going to have an EMP ready, and that's about all they have to work with. Uh, Funny Astro will have a rally to perhaps counter that. Philadelphia not working with a ton themselves. Let's see if the uh, the Ans Sombra can get something done here. See playing. He's still kind of with the team currently. We're at 90 seconds. And they're just past car wash. They only need one fight, however. I heard Hisu's beacon, you know, the, the little call out from far behind. And Hisu is closing in on an EMP of his own. If he can kind of get this ASAP, they may be able to counter EMP, but Striker has seen him, so he's going to have to back off. Now they both have EMP. EMP first from the fusion. Shock again, a little bit late to the party. Hex once more. Ivy and Arns do end up trading out. Vasado is staying alive with this primal rage. This is a good look for the fusion right now. Ivy's going to be able to get back rather fast too. Arns can come back with the EMP of his own, but uh, the fusion is going to have to hold the high ground. A Graviton Surge on to the point. The Pulse Bomb goes a little bit wide. In fact, I think it was bubbled by Choi. And now Fury just runs to the battle line and kills off Twilight and Choi. The EMP has come out. It, Hex it hit three people. He still ends up falling. It's Striker and Smurf's duty now to try and clean up this fight. But Fury's going to be able to get kept alive. And he's still holding this grab. Shock is just all over the place on this map. Indecisiveness with these EMPs is not landing them in a good space. 25 seconds now remaining for them to put this payload in the first point. I mean, if you were going to run Sombra the whole time, I don't know why, like, Striker doesn't run it or Rascal doesn't run it. Anz is Sombra. He plays it aggressively, and he EMP'd, and he died immediately. And yes, it doesn't seem like a big deal, but the follow-up damage needs to be there from even just the Sombra, and also getting the secondary hacks when EMP starts fading, and he's out of the fight. Okay, Anz Desperation the Widow. Pick. I mean, this is it. This is the... The true this desperation thing. Blade, Always though. has been. <gasps> Choi gets hacked as well. He can't go to the payload. Someone has to touch. Someone has to touch. The Tracer does in the end, but Smurf ends up getting caught out alone. And now the blade's going to be big. Fury doesn't end up going down. I say the blade's going to be big. The Graviton Surge went wide as well, but the damage is really there. And finally, Arns gets taken out. Ivy may have been slept, and Twilight does pull it off. The miracle sleep on the blade, but with Striker, the only surviving member from the shot on the payload. Is it going to be able to do too much with just a single pick? The Fusion are going to halt them just before first point. It's either you get Helder first, or you make or you it all the yeah. way to the third point and finish <laughs> on this map. There is a literally no in between. Yeah, and this time is... around, the Philly hold them. Shock again with the EMPs. Ahisu was 75%-ish. He was around that kind of bracket, and Arnt had EMP. And I said, Hisu needs to build up CMP, maybe go for a counter. Nope, Hisu built up EMP, hit it, and Shock hadn't used theirs yet. 
and they just get rolled over. And then they were in a clutch situation, and Arns ended up using it, hitting two people, but then there was no follow-up. And Sato didn't die at all that map. He was getting yeah. primal every minute 15. Hisu, uh, one minute and 20 on the EMP charges, ends up with 16 enemies hacked, only eight EMPs. So the individual hacks also coming in huge. San Francisco only managed six kills that entire yeah. offense. I, it's just, it's not the best comp for San Francisco. Unfortunately, it's, it's a very popular in the meta to be running the Sombra and at, you know, San Francisco, the signing window's closed. Otherwise, I'm sure they just signed the, the best Sombra we've ever seen uh, play somewhere. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, just... I feel like Arndt, and I uh, kind of thought they put him on the Widowmaker here because it is such a good Widowmaker map. Or even it makes Ashton sense, yeah. as well. I mean, he's going to be on the uh, Sombra yet again. And it is I mean, very I defendable, that... mind you. Just uh, make yeah. you aware. Like, it is very defendable. Most teams currently... Uh, we must have a stat for it somewhere. I think the thought was San Francisco thinking like, hey, when we get to last point, because we're San Francisco. <laughs> what was that? They were just Sato angrily looking now. at each other, and then Sado falls over, because Joy punched him in the face. <laughs> it looked oh like some God. cover art. <laughs> it really did, actually. Both of them looking at each other, just angrily, just like mouse wadding through bubbles. <laughs> Well, it's going to slow down Philadelphia just a little bit, but this is where you're getting all the free push anyway. They pressure out Ons just with a triple shuriken shot. Yeah, that was pretty accurate from IV, actually. Shurikens are fairly hard to land. It's a very unique weapon. It's like Lucio's in a way. It's rather unique. The right click, not so much, but the left click uh, is, a, is a certain max to this. skill. The right click is just shuriken shotgun. Yeah. You right click, you gain ult. You right click, you ult. That's what Genji's life is currently. Blue box control it's... for the fusion here, though, which is really good because Alarm can set up really nicely. Oh. Yeah, he's just chilling. And I mean, if you're a Winston, like you're That's almost a afraid to even dive this. Nice bubble there from Choi to uh, cleanse the purple from Smurf. That could have been horrible if uh, he got Dove on there. Let's have Nano. Purple. Nano for both teams. Smurf's hack though. Yeah, Ivy's gonna wait uh, though. You don't want to nano just yet. Well, they do, in fact. They actually nano Sado into the Mega Health Pad room, so they're gonna be able to go in with the blade. They do can take control of the payload as well. Violet is gonna be purple, and Striker now managing to finish up Sado. Okay, good start from the shock. They don't want to let go of this space just yet, and yeah, they're gonna be able to back off. Fusion, they know they can't win this fight. Just making sure the shock invests things here is gonna be good for their ultimate economy. They still have two minutes, of course, and the payload is 10 meters away from being completed. Yeah, San Francisco leading on some important alts as well. They're going to be have Rally much quicker at about 20% more, and they already have the Graviton Surge up. For me, this one uh, is all about the Sombras. Isu should definitely be able to get this. Oh, he gets a Translocator! It's going to be good. No one's able to capitalize, but now Hisu's right. got his EMP. He who queues first might just win this map. Yeah, well, if Fusion, Fusion know they need to queue first because they've got Blade as well. Alarm could even build up to another Nano. They could, in fact, wait for an entire rotation of the Nano here to end up being six alts. Twilight with the sleep onto Sado. He's going to be safe, though. There's the EMP. Hisu is going to throw it out. Ivy's going to get purple as well. The Blade comes through. His Striker and Arns have already just dished out so much damage that they end up going down. Striker with a three-piece of his own. That's a lot invested from the Fusion. The Shock... They now have the Nano. They've got the Grab and they have the Pulse Bomb too. They've got a clear win condition. The EMP and the Nano didn't end up, sorry, the EMP and the Blade for the Fusion didn't end up working yeah, here. So more of an even playing field as we uh, enter into this last fight. However, Astro with the Rally is going to be pretty big. Rally, Nano, Grab. I mean, you, you can get a lot done here, especially with an individual hack. I mean, if they can hack the opposing Zarya and get their Grab off, they can win this map. And so long. Okay, Nano Boost. On to the Winston again. It's going to be a nice bubble from Joy. Look at him just kind of holding the fort currently. Yeah, he's going to get tickled from the back there, but Arns already ends up going down. Smurf as well. Joy manages to find one. A Graviton searching the payload too. The Pulse Bomb's going to be big. There's a personal bubble in the way though. And Fury manages to stay alive. And it's now 100 energy. Joy gets burnt down. And now Philadelphia Fusion in control of the payload. 20 seconds remaining, and the shock need to touch. Striker gets back in time, but gets bashed. Instantly killed off. The purple onto the supports as well. And the Fusion tie up the series. What a piece. As they manage to hold the shock before the first point in cap now as well. This was going to be...